and Iman will decrease until there will be nothing remaining from it. Now, you may not, Barakallahu Fikum, picture this statement right here and how in the level state that Sufyan ibn Uyayna could have been. When his brother Ibrahim ibn Uyayna, he said, you saying that it, decre it, it decreased as if he is what? He is being in opposition of his statement. He told him, Uskut ya sabi. Your youngster, be quiet. Refrain from talking. He said, but I'm going to tell you even further than that. It will decrease until there will be nothing remaining from it. So this barakallahu fikum from the statement of Ibrahim ibn Uyayna when he told his brother Sufyan ibn Uyayna about that are you saying that Iman decrease? He said be quiet young man but rather it will decrease until there will be nothing remaining from it. He said it will decrease until there will be nothing remaining. Haven't you seen a person that apostated? Haven't you seen a person that was once Akhi in Mad in Medina, studying the religion, came back as an apostate? Well Iyadu Billah. Nasallullah salama wal afiya. Used to be praying in the masjid of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallama. Used to be a talib ilm, came back, apostated from the religion. Apostated from the religion. So where is his iman? Didn't it decrease until there was nothing remaining? Jazakallah. Allah Right. Very good. Jazakallah. The brother he mentioned here, it is a very important remark. That's his own brother. He knew his name. His name was? If, if your name was called, Barakallah, no, 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 no whispering. No, his brother. Not Ibrahim, the Ibrahim brother. Sufyan ibn Uyayna. Uyayna, Sufyan ibn Uyayna. What is the other Sufyan name, Abdullah? No, the other Sufyan, the other Sufyan. Ah, speak up. Louder. Sufyan and Thawri, right? So you have two Sufyan. Sufyan ibn Uyayna and Sufyan and Sufyan and Thawri. And they were both muhaddith. They were both people of hadith. So Ibrahim ibn Uyayna, when he told his brother, Ya Aba Muhammad, right? As Abba Ibrahim mentioned, yes, he knew his brother's name, but yet he went by his kunya. So this is from the actions of the Salaf. They used to refer one another by by their kunya. They used to refer one another by their kunya. And alhamdulillah, if a brother has to call you by your name, labas, but maybe he doesn't know your kunya. Tell him your kunya. Right? I say, you say Suleiman. Suleiman is Abu Hussein, barakallahu Right? Right? Abu Hussein. Right? Abu Hussein. May Allah give you a righteous one. Amen. Tayyib, so therefore, here, Shaykh Fawdan Hafizahullah, he mentioned, وَفِي قَوْلِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ And likewise, to show that Iman decreased, and we are going in regard to what? The intellect, uh, the, the, the textual proofs. The textual proof. And he say, also the hadith of the Messenger, صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ that akhrajahu Imam Muslim on the authority of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri also to likewise. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man ra'a minkum munkaran fal yughayyiruhu. Whoever among you see, so, see evil, let him change it. Whoever among you see evil, let him change it. He said, fal yughayyir, fal yughayyiruhu biyadihi. Let him change it with his hands. 
طيب فإن لم يستطع if he doesn't have the ability فبقلبه فبلسانه let him change with his with his tongue فإن لم يستطع if he doesn't have the ability he say فبقلبه let him change it with his heart and he say the last the end of the hadith which is the محل الشاهد if you want to underline it underline it if you want to color color this word this hadith the end of the hadith he say he say the And he say, فَإِن لَمْ يَسْتَطِعَ فَبِقَلْبِهِ وَذَلِكَ أَضْعَفُ الْإِيمَانِ And whoever doesn't have the ability to change it with his tongue, let him hate it in his heart. And this is the lowest of Iman. This is the lowest of Iman. So if the person has the ability to change it with his hands, he has to do it. You see something that is not good, change it with your hand. But here they change it with the hand. It is barakallah fikum to be understood properly. The change of the hand is for the the waliyul amr, the ulatul umur, the people of authority. Those who have authority, barakallah fikum. Naam, the Shaykh Hafizahullah, he mentioned. And likewise, from the proofs that Iman decreases is the hadith of the Messenger, alayhi salatu wa salam. On the authority of Abu Sayyid al-Khudri, akhrajahu Imam Muslim, rahimahullah. He mentioned, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, whoever among you see munkar, munkar. Whoever see munkar, whoever see evil. That means that at first the person has to know that this is evil. He has to know that this is evil first and foremost. You cannot have no doubt about whether this is evil or not. That's why he mentioned man ra'a minkum munkaran, whoever see evil. So you, meaning before you take the 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 the, 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 obligate, the responsibility of rectifying it, know that this is evil first. So he say, "Fal yughayyirhu biyadhi." Let him change it with his with his hands. So Shaykh Fawdan Hafizahullah in this book that we always refer to the brothers, which is called Ajubatul Mufid, عن الأسئلة المناهج الجديد, أسئلة المناهج الجديد, the the beneficial questions and answers of the newly invented matters, right? The newly invented methodology, معذرة. Of the Manahij al Jadid, the newly invented methodologies. He answered this. He gave the d- detail of this hadith. He said, Here, the meaning of those who have the obligation of rectifying with their hands are the Waliyul Amr, those who have the, those who are the ruler, those who possess with them the forces, the reparation forces, those who, Baraka, they have the police with, with them. They have the military under, under their command. These, they have the jail system in, 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 under, under their authority. They are the ones that can rectify these matters with their hands. Because the, 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 the governor can easily say, whoever, nothing, whoever drives 55 miles per hour, or more than 55 miles per hour on a, on a small street, on a, on, a, on, a, on a neighborhood street, you're going to be going to jail for two days. Can the Imam say that? No, the Imam can only say, Akhi barakallah fi, respect the, what you call it? Huh? The speed limit. 
I'll be the wrong one to say that. Respect the speed limit, right? That's all he can say. And the second one, he say, فَإِن لَمْ يَسْتَطِعَ فَبِلِسَانِ If he doesn't have the ability to do with his hands, let him rectify with his tongue. And who are those who rectify with their tongue? They are the scholars. Because they have knowledge of the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They will tell you the dalil. They will tell you the proofs and evidence. They will admonish you. They will give you a advice, nasiha. They will give you a sincere advice. To tell you, akhi, Allah say this, the Prophet say this, the Salaf, Ridwanullah Ali Majma'een, this is how they were doing in regard to this. He say, فَإِن لَمْ يَسْتَتِعْ If you don't have the ability, he say that you have the hate it in your heart. And hating in your heart is the lowest of Iman. So that shows that Barakallah Fikum between rectify with your tongue with your with your hands all the way to the recti- hating in your heart then there is a great level of difference. Without a doubt, hating in your heart is the lowest level of Al-Iman. Dalla ala anna al-Iman yudhaf. That this is a proof that Iman will, can, be, can be decreasing. He say, ayyi yan qus, meaning that it could be de- decreasing. He say, fal Iman idhan yazidu bi ta'a. So therefore, it is also to be understood that iman increases with act of obediency. وَيَنْقُصْ بِالْمَعْصِيَةِ And it decreases with act of disobediency to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قَوْلُهُ وَأَرْكَانُهُ سِتَّةِ And the statement of Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab when he mentioned وَأَرْكَانُهُ سِتَّةِ And the pillars of iman, they are six. أَن تُؤْمِنَ بِاللَّهِ That you believe in Allah. Well, and you believe in his angels. وَكُتُبِهِ and you believe in the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, وَرُسُلِهِ and you believe in the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ and you believe in the last day. And you believe likewise in the qadr, the predestination, the good and the bad. Yes, Allah. Sure, that you believe that Iman, the pillars of Iman are six. Believing in Allah, believing in the angels, believing in the books, believing in the prophets, believing in the last day, and believing in that which is a decree, meaning what Allah has decided, had ordained to happen. You got it? Can you say all six? In the books, angels, Prophets, last day. Believe in Allah. That was the first one. Believe in Allah is the first one. Right. Believe in Allah. In the angels. The prophets. The books. The last day. And the decree. Ahsan. So therefore the Shaykh Hafizahullah wa ra'ah, he mentioned, he say, وَقَوْلُهُ And the statement of the Shaykh Muhammad ibn al-Waha wa arkanu sitta and the six pillars of al-Iman. He say, أي meaning? He say, دَعَائِمُ الَّتِي يَقُومُ عَلَيْهَا Meaning that number, the frame, the number that Iman is built upon. Those num- those arkan, those pillars, Right, the frame that Iman is built upon. He say likewise, meaning here. وَيَفْقَدْ بِفَقْدِهَا It will be absent, meaning Iman will be absent by the absence of these pillars. Iman will be non-present by the absence of these pillars. Or if one is missing from the six then the whole Iman is missing. So there is no Iman if you don't have the six. If one is missing, you don't have Iman. So you must have all six intact together, not one after the other. La, but rather you have to have the belief in all six pillars of an Iman. Right? All six pillars of an Iman, you have to have it to you, for that your belief to be built upon that which is correctness. The Shahafidahullah he mentioned.